Okay, so I kind of lied about the title because I haven't worked on this mod in like two months. So technically, I, I've worked on it for ten months. Okay, I can probably stop doing that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a mod that I have not touched in um two months. Wait a minute. This is my first. <laughs> this is my first video after not uploading for eight months. Oh my. Well, anyway, uh, there is a special button you can press for a uh. Slightly louder version of that, but I'm not going to get into that. Instead, I'm going to show you what this mod is like if it'll actually load. So I'll admit, the uh, mod is nowhere near completion at all. Uh, most of these nations have absolutely no content, and they, they don't even have any leaders. There's just nothing here, okay? There's... It's a ghost town. There isn't even a name for this one. But there are a few nations which actually do have a little bit of content. This nation right here. Same for this one and this one. No other nation has content. Well, it, except for this one. It it also has a little bit of content. But other than that, uh, no other nation really has all that much content. You're probably pretty confused on what this even is in the first place. Well, basically, me and a bunch of other people, we made our own nations and... I decided let's just code it. Yeah, so I coded this entire mod. Uh, this project actually didn't start until a year ago, which funnily enough is the exact reason I started coding because one day I decided, you know what? No one else is gonna do this. So you know what? I'm gonna do it myself. And that's how I got into coding, fun fact. Only four nations have actual focus trees that have any sort of development. Uh, oh, but there is a generic focus tree which has a eight different kinds of governments you can choose from there's a bunch of industry stuff there's nukes it's mostly just base game things including intelligence agencies i've also changed the decisions over here you can see there's options to promote governments change economic laws uh there's even election decisions you can have annual biannual triannual or you know what just elections every 10 decades why not most states don't even have names like look if, if i look at this one here it, it, it just has the name of the country and this one doesn't even have a name. Of course, there is no research added because I have no clue how to deal with that. But at least we've got Walter White over here in the form of a country ball. And yeah, believe it or not, this is a mod which has country balls in it. Insane. If you couldn't tell by this leader here, this leader here, or even this leader here, it's it's a world of balls. Editor, do not put a vine boom sound effect. That'll just make it worse. Also, funny thing, there is a whole arctic... I, can my mouse move? There's a whole arctic down... What is with my mouse lately? So fun fact, there is an entire arctic down here. It, it kind of doesn't encompass the entire globe. Because if it did, then it wouldn't look really weird when you put it on one of those 3D map things. Instead, it just, it just has a giant straight line. Just a 90 degree straight line when you look at those maps. Editor, put, a, put an image of it on screen. <laughs> Now, I did say only a handful of nations actually have content, because if I go here, you can see a bunch of decisions that it can choose from, which um, are basically just its puppets. As you can see here, there's a ton of puppets. And what I can do is it can just overthrow their government. You see, I prepared to make this video a few days ago, but um, I have to upload this tomorrow because I took that long. I also have this little decision right here, which is basically a formable between these two nations right here. They can unite into one nation, and I have a little thing for that. And yes, it is animated if you couldn't tell already. Another thing is that there is also a few releasables that are in very specific nations, and they also have similar decisions. There's only two formables in the entire mod. Now if I look at a couple of these focus trees, you can see this nation has a focus tree. This nation has a focus tree. This nation also has a focus tree. It, it splits into another focus tree. And this nation has a focus tree. Of course, all these focus trees are kind of like the TNO style, where they go from one focus tree to the next. Uh, but then there's this focus tree, which is... Um, it's nowhere near even done. There's nothing to do in this nation because I haven't coded it yet, mainly because I forgot what the other paths for it are. But that's that's besides the point, okay? Now, although most nations don't really have any sort of content, a couple nations do actually have some ideas, and most nations have this, which that's basically just the international organization. 
for this mod. It's basically just the UN, but it has more authority to actually do things. But some nations don't have that buff, and instead, they are mandates, meaning they are not full members, unlike most of them, which are actual member states. And some of them are tied together and will uh, collapse with one another, as you can tell by this debuff right here. Yeah, so I think uh, I, I kind of explained a little bit about it. So uh, I'm just going to let you guys see for yourself what what even happens here, because not, not much really happens here. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, they are essentially vowing the destruction of... Uh, oh, and they are also vowing destruction of the other nation. Okay, great. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a disease that goes around. It's not copying anything. It it never copied anything. It's, it's definitely not a virus that will be all that significant, of course. Uh, oh, yeah, sanctions. I completely forgot about sanctions. I forgot sanctions exist. Well, guess what? Sanctions exist, and you can... You can you can do sanctions. Um, I'm just gonna sanction everyone. You know what? I I don't care. Oh, and by the way, uh, there are a couple of places here that don't actually have nations. Which fun fact? That means they are completely blank. And I am showing you all of them right now, because uh, I need nations to fill the empty void for this mod. So uh, if you want to join the mod, uh. I guess just reach out to me on Discord. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to discuss it with the others. I'm not the only one working on it, okay? That's going to sound so bad. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? There's a global pandemic. <laughs> uh, why am I allowed to do lockdowns? That's not even supposed to happen yet. Uh, would you look at that? You have decisions to uh, deal with the flu. You can do uh, d uh, a bunch of things, because guess what? Now you have the flu. I crave feedback for a mod I haven't worked on in two months. Look at that. I can, I can do research on it. Oh, and in case you're wondering, uh, yeah, my research slots are gone. But hey, at least I can do emergency healthcare initiatives. That'll solve my issues. Barely, because uh, they, they got they got worse. My problems got worse. What do you know? I've done nothing and my problems have gotten worse. Welcome to the modern day. Oh, phenomenal. I've already had a major setback. I need more funds. I'm definitely going to get things done by increasing my consumer goods factory. I don't even have any factor. <laughs> there's there's a decision to get rid of resistance in these in these states that I didn't get to show off. Because I was too late to do it. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just I can just restart the game. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's a custom game rules that you can go through, and even focus AI behavior for focus trees. I am absolutely putting that on. Anyways, welcome. Joe Biden! Look at Joe. Look at Sleepy Joe. Oh no, there's war declarations going insane. Wrath of Biden. <laughs> also, Biden is just tweaking out right now. He is just just utterly tweaking out. Look at that. His portrait it's just it's just tweaking out, alright? he's tweaking out. Even the even the name is tweaking out. Whoa, when you look at that, a new virus has been discovered. This will be resolved in no time. 99% chance to contain it, 1% chance to outbreak. Surely it won't outbreak, right? Wrong. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, April Fools proceeds to just nuke this island. Oh, there's the ability to get nuclear weapons completely for free and then use it right here by sending a kind message. Let's... Let's let's send the uh the UN of this world a very kind message. Why is it not working? There we go. A very kind message. Oh yeah, I forgot. It, cat. All right, so I finally completed the focus to unlock the mechanic and you can see here there's a lot of red flags. Basically, you click on one of these states which happens to have resistance and you also have a buff that gives a stupid amount of resistance plus 100%. And what you do is you just click on these. It'll cost a little bit of 
political power along with manpower. So hopefully you saved up a lot of political power because it only cost five. And I ran out of political power. And a uh, fun fact, if resistance gets too high, uh, you won't be able to record these lands ever. Oh, look at that. They, they changed to lime green flags. And there's the global pandemic. So I'm just going to complete this focus right here. And now when I go back to here, instead of the previous one, which it just basically gave minus 10 resistance. Now all the surrounding states are going to get an extra five and now it's 10 resistance that it's going to lose. Oh yeah. And here's the focus that uh pretty much just fixes all your problems. And boom, guess what? Now they are all demilitarized and they are your cores again. Funny thing, uh, you can go to negative stability now. Oh uh, yeah, and then you can also start the civil war, which um, let me just say it's kind of devastating. And by devastating, I mean you just explode into a bajillion factions. Yeah, good luck getting rid of all of these. Yeah, these, these guys usually never finish their civil war, even though it's supposed to finish by like 23 24 it doesn't it just goes on for a really long time oh and fun fact uh one of the neighboring countries can actually intervene as one of their decisions uh it just declares war on literally everyone over here get out biden please please it's not healthy to tweak out this <laughs> Oh yeah, see right here, a bunch of oil has just been stolen from this state. Yeah, so this focus right here, it kind of declares war on the uh, other nation. And guess what? You still control oil. You, you have oil. The loads of oil you can control. Look at that, I just, I just beat them to death. Let's go, and I still don't get cores yet. Why are you like this game? I swear. Wait a minute, they just, they just switched locations. What in the world? That's not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to just switch locations. What? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, fun fact. Uh, they have another, this nation has a, uh, another focus tree if the incumbent leader wins. You can't do a monarchist path with this nation currently, unless you do a very specific string of steps. Instead of getting this event right here, let's just hope this doesn't escalate. Oh yeah, also, you need to do a, you need to go for the party's successor. Yeah, you need to complete this focus and not this focus. Hmm, I wonder, someone else might be behind it. There it is, it changed and return of the king welcome back and then it just oh look you got a nice purple color now that's cool um but you can also abuse subs <laughs> also your stability and war support has just absolutely tanked lethal injection you know this doesn't really do anything other than change this portrait let me just there you go portrait changed now the eyes are purple and that that's literally all it does uh you know what i'm gonna end this video because nothing is working major setback figure out something i have to upload this tomorrow uh, uh bye <laughs>